and welcome, Pokemon fans! It's JWitz here, and what an exciting time to be a Pokemon fan. If you're watching this video, this is uh, going to be released on the day of the uh, release of Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I am just so excited. They are beautiful games, they look like they've got all kinds of fresh new things in the Pokemon world, and I just cannot wait to play it and share my adventure with you guys through this Let's Play. I talked about a handful of sort of ground rules or things to expect over the course of this Let's Play in my announcement video. I'm going to see if I can bullet point those for you guys right now. Uh, in general, I'm playing this just for fun. I want to have a good time. Um, I'm not really looking for team comp. I'm just looking to explore, find a collection of critters that I really enjoy. Uh, while I will attempt to my very best to, you know, play well, uh, I'm by no means a VGC player. Some mistakes might happen, and that's okay. We'll laugh them off. Speaking of mistakes, if I do make a mistake, these episodes are recorded in advance. I'm recording a lot of these with a review copy that I got from Nintendo. Uh, special thanks to them for providing that for me. And while I uh, didn't use it to play through the whole game all in one sitting, in fact, uh, playing through the game is going to be sort of a fresh thing that I'm doing here, uh, in front of you guys on the camera, um, because I'm recording a lot of these episodes in advance, if something goes wrong, I can't really hear you guys in the comments section. If something goes horribly wrong, um, it might continue to go horribly wrong for like 30 more episodes or something. My guess is I'll have around 10 to 20 maximum episodes recorded in advance, so I just wanted to let you guys know, hey, keep that in mind. Other than that, um, the only other thing I can think of is I have tried to remain outside of spoiler territory for these games. So there might be some stuff that you guys know, specific stats, things that will happen at certain points of the game. I might not know. I've only watched the official trailers, and even for some of the newest official trailers, I've kind of skipped over them. I wanted to get a big handful of fresh here, and I'm hoping that's what it is. Anyway, I'm Jay Witz. I speak English, and welcome to Pokemon Sun. Let's go. I got a call. You have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukui. Oh man, face to face. <laughs> I saw someone made a, uh, uh, a really funny comment. They said, um, if you play this game, how's it going to feel when you battle Jaywitz versus Alolan Jaywitz? And I, I laugh. A lot of people have made the joke that I look like Kukui. Maybe the illusion is slightly closer um, if I'm wearing my gunners. The only reason I'm not wearing them today is because it's really hot. And these fog up because they press a little closer to my face. I didn't want to play through the first time fog. But when days get colder, you'll probably see me in these. I wear them to prevent migraines. Anyway, I look a little bit like Kukui. Um, if you take, like, you know, colored glasses, similar facial hair... He is rocking a, uh, a pretty fierce man bun in the back that I definitely don't have, and he's rocking some stuff right here that I, uh, it's a secret. I may or may not be rocking, except between me and you guys, I, I'm not rocking. He's got a fierce bod that maybe someday I will be able to compete with. <laughs> but regardless, I still found it really hilarious as soon as this character was announced. <laughs> if you guys think he looks a little bit like me. Such mysterious creatures! Oh yeah, we're learning about Pokemon, by the way. You'll find them all over. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky and sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps too. Oh yeah, shake that tail. Some of us even battle with them, if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, can you wait till I'm done talking to play? Peace. All right, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Which photo? <clears throat> this is always tough for me. I mean, you can... I like picking a trainer that looks like me. It's somewhere in between these two. But neither of them are, like, uh, perfectly me, if you know what I mean. This one, the hair is far too light. But my eyes aren't blue. My eyes look like this. But my hair is a different shade than that. I think I'm going to stick with this one. And uh, hope that I can get a, uh, a haircut soon or something to, to change it. Or who knows, maybe we'll make a character that doesn't even necessarily look like me. We'll see. Anyway. 
My name is Jay Witz. I absolutely love the music too. I love that there's vocals in it. Uh, we've heard some vocals in this, heard some vocals from a brief like Team Skull encounter theme. I That's another thing I totally have not spoiled myself on is the music. I cannot wait to, to hear some of this for the first time. That's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Let's go. Um, I'm so excited. It's so interesting that they start the game this way too. Just like directly, oh! Help me with these boxes. There was no like intro video. It was just like, boom, let's talk to some people. Let's check out a magazine. Now we're here, we're in Alola. I am just, oh! All right, it's Lily. Running from somebody? And a Cosmog? That is, I think, the cutest Pokemon that they've revealed. Oh! Huh! I'm actually really surprised that they would have, like, uh, Aether Foundation chasing her and, and not, like, Team Skull. You'd think, usually they put such a huge focus on, like, the, uh, the rival team or whatever. The evil team being bad. I'm starting to wonder if this game's going to give us, like, more than one evil team. Or maybe things won't be so black and white. I I'm just excited. I know I have high hopes for any Pokemon games plot, but I really have high hopes for this one. What's going on here? The start of the game is what's going on here. Let's go. Thank you, base game freak. Three months later. Three months. It's like a very specific amount of time. Not a week, not half a year, but like a quarter year. Decent amount of time for stuff to happen between that. I know. Oh man, it looks so good too. In general, like Hawaii just looks really good. Um, I've been to Hawaii twice, once to Kauai and once to Maui. Um, one vacation, one honeymoon, I guess two vacations. And I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert of the islands. I obviously went as a tourist both times, but, uh, it really, to me, does live up to the height. It's extremely gorgeous, um, all over. So I was always really excited when they said that they were using this region, um, for Pokemon. Just seems like a great idea. Uh, there's all kinds of wild creatures there to emulate from. All kinds of wilderness for routes and such. I'm excited. Oh! I'm sorry. I gotta I gotta see that again. I mean, is this through Meowth's point of view? Literally like our Zelda moment, Skyward Sword moment. Meowth comes crashing through the window to wake me up. <laughs> Not quite, but he is definitely, uh, he's noisy. Oh, yeah, I'm up. I can't believe it. The Ditto Pillow and Poke Toy are both covered in Meowth's claw marks. I own this. Not, not this big. It might even be in this room. Check this out. <laughs> or at least a small version of it. This was a gift um, from, ironically, someone that works at Pokemon, uh, Kyle Pukasukovic. He does development with the Pokemon trading card game now. But he got this for me last Christmas. And I just find it super fitting that it's here uh, in my room. Kind of sad that Meowth has beaten up on it a little bit, but I'm, I'm super pumped. I'm going to see. I don't know how much of me will actually fit on camera, but I'm going to leave it here with my three waifu... Uh, Cynthia, Cordelia, and, of course, Waluigi. Beautiful. <laughs> what, what a fun way to start. I'm wondering what other official Pokemon merchandise will be in this game that I own. We'll just try and stack it up all over here. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So, Jay Wits, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Oh, yeah. Of course. That's right. 
I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in this place must be friendly, right? Who is that at the doorbell? I think it's Kukui. Hey there, Jay Woods. Name's Kukui. Good to meet you, cousin. Gotta be tired after that long trip all the way out here to Alola. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. It's still daytime out here, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't a question mark. Was an exclamation mark. We arrived here yesterday. Hey there, Mom. I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Is he getting fresh with Mom? <laughs> Welcome to Alola. Of course. I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto. All those years ago, you know. She getting fresh with him? <laughs> I've been in love with a lowland Pokemon ever since. So I finally decided to come here myself. Ha! I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I think that's a big theme for him, is he specifically likes researching Pokemon moves. All the researchers have, like, their own expertise. I think that's fun. So he's been to Kanto, but uh, apparently got whooped by the trainers there. He's gonna move on to the next town over. Time for you to meet the Island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon, yeah! A Pokemon? Yeah, sure. The Kahuna who lives in Iki Town is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon. Yeah. He likes dropping in yes. <laughs> yeah. What's up, yeah? They're unbeatable for folks like me and you, yeah? You'll simply give my boy a Pokemon? And those Kahunas really are worth meeting. Hurry and get ready! Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on the desk, too? Oh, I guess I gotta pick those up. Bet you got a styling hat that'll match mine, yeah? Not quite his, uh, his amazing reading rainbow cap. Oh! This isn't my room, is it? <laughs> no, it's mom's. Does mom have any stuff for me? Just, just Meowth's bed. It's Meowth's bed! But it's hardly been used since Meowth just sleeps in your mom's bed instead. Is Meowth getting fresh with mom? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, although to be fair, I have a dog. Her name is Zoe. And she never uses her bed. It's just a giant chew toy to her. Checked the book your father gave you. Oh, so we have an existing father that's established. Open the X menu with the X button. Record your progress with save. Might as well go to the options now. Maximum speed. Battle effects. Yeah, we'll keep them on. This is a let's play. Let's have fun. Um, This is the only thing you can really change difficulty-wise in Pokemon. Is whether or not you basically want to cheat and decide that you get to switch Pokemon when they put new Pokemon in. I turn it to set always. Um, Pokemon games typically aren't that hard, so why not make it just marginally more difficult i wish there were other difficulty options some kind of opening hard mode but in the meantime we'll take it when your party is full you can choose the destination you send a pokemon to yeah make that manual that seems cool confirm here's the box check out the moving boxes hold out your bag and hat i actually like how uh this, this year's model of Pokemon Trainer looks. They change every now and then. The hat isn't uh, isn't too silly. <laughs> Unfortunately for some trainers out there, they're going to be forced to wear that Glove World hat <laughs> for the first... I don't know how long it is until you can actually start changing your clothes. I think you could take the hats off if you want. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Thanks, Mom. That's a styling hat, cousin. It's, I think it's pretty generic, but we'll take styling. Apparently Meowth said something hilarious. I couldn't hear it, though. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? Let's get going to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. 
Oh yeah, Kool-Aid Man. Sounds good to me. Anything important left in my room? Any, um... Just no really, like, PC. Like, I had a computer at the beginning. No potion to withdraw. Cute stuffed doll looks like Pikachu. I don't think I own a Pikachu doll like that. It's a Wii U. It has a gamepad with a screen. R.I.P. Wii U. You'll be missed. They are showing a movie on TV. Oh, it's the classic! They, uh, they had this all the way back to red and blue. Scene showing four boys walking down a set of railroad tracks. That is, uh, Stand By Me. Actually, uh, really good movie. Sad movie. Um, but I always really enjoy it. And, uh, I I actually read, I was curious. Even in Japan, they still make that same movie reference. Four boys walking down railroad tracks. It doesn't talk about, like, a different movie. Oh, we're out! It's beautiful! I'm big! I, this is, like, my first time really realizing, like, the characters are actually person-sized. They're not little chibi models. Um, I saw someone posting, like, screenshots comparing X and Y early screenshots to these. And it really does blow my mind how much better this looks a couple years later. It really shows, like, how experimental X and Y were for them messing with, like, 3D assets in the 3DS. Now it just just looks amazing. I'm really excited to see what they do with some of these areas. Look at this. Look at this angle. Hey, you. You look like you're having a good time strolling around Alola. Oh, he's just going to tell me. Press B to run. Yep. Start the game running in this game. Oh, oh. Nothing there. What about you? Power of science is amazing. The press of a button you can trade. Sick. <laughs> oh man, look at look at this view. It's beautiful. It's crazy too. It's it's been so long. Like, oh, this is the first main series Pokemon game I think where you're not on a grid, no matter what. Like even in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire or X and Y, you could still run with the D-pad on a grid. We're grid free, baby. This is feeling like the like the GameCube games. Loving Alola already? I I really am. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna give you a signature, yeah. Happier you are, happier I'll be. Look there! Looks like an excited Alolan trainers come to us. Professor Kukui, you gotta recommend another move for me sometime, please? Why? You already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me the next time your Pokemon learns a new move, then I'll battle you. <laughs> he just blew him off. Ooh, shiny! I want the item. I want the item. I hope they glisten like that in the dark. Sometimes if it's dark out, I have a hard time actually seeing the Pokeball. If you had a Pokemon- IF YOU HAD A POKEMON! You could go out here and have an awesome time, but since you don't, rest in peace. Oh, hey, Young Goose and Alolan Meow. And trainers go up once in, uh, up against one another in battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, Young Goose. How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. I'm down. I want a battle. I want a Pokemon. Let's go! This is a cute little town. I love that I can sort of just hear Pokemon cries in the background, too. Town where the folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Huh? What's going on here? We're supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Maybe they're all back there on Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are, yeah? <laughs> I wonder why they have them say yeah all the time. I'm sure it, it has to do with, like, a different type of, like, figure of speech in Japanese that they translated here. But it still is pretty funny. Alright. Wait around here so we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. Well, I really want a Pokemon. I might come back and investigate these houses. 
And in general, actually, um... Oh, it's Lily. Do I go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. In general, if I go into a house and it provides no inter interesting new information, no lore, no free stuff, no items, um, I'll probably have our wonderful editor, Sonder, cut that out. So, at the moment, I'm gonna rush up, follow the story. I really want to get a starter and get this adventure going. But if cool stuff ever happens while I visit um, one of those NPC homes, I will be sure to include it. This is super mysterious. I love this. Feels very, like, Studio Ghibli-esque, both in visuals and the music. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. Nothing to investigate here yet. Ooh! Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh. I love Cosmog so much. Little... Cotton candy cheerleader. Getting wrecked. This is literally episode one of the anime. Spiro and all. Is this how I get my Pokemon? Come to the rescue? Ah. Um, what's wrong? Help? Save Nebby! Nebby? That's such a cute nickname. <laughs> Lil Nebster. Yeah. Those Spiro are attacking it. I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Um. So, no, no Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh man, I literally got shrek Like, actually Shrek the movie when they walk over the bridge. I thought it was just me going too fast. No, it, it's just programmed for that to happen and really freak you out. <sighs> they got me, they got me on that one. All right, well, I... <laughs> Defensive maneuvers activate. Um, <laughs> what? I guess we're... <laughs> Did you see how bad? <laughs> Those Spiro just got wrecked so hard. It looked like they disintegrated straight off the screen. And here it is, Tapu Coco. It's got like a mini chill. Music's awesome. Angle was awesome. That's another, like, episode one moment when I get to see a legendary Pokemon. Thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. Some, like, forbidden technique? Use the wrong Rasengan and, and your RIP? Well, seems like it can move now, at least. What is that? Shiny. Speaking of shinies, I can't wait to shiny hunt in this game. At the very least, I hope that there's a lot of different water Pokemon I can chain fish for. So that's my favorite type of shiny hunting. A sparkling stone? Feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I am so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. I don't think she's the kahuna. Who are you? She shook her head like, like, no, I'm not telling you. <laughs> I think this stone must belong to you. I mean, I'll take it. That looks quite Z-Ring-esque. This thing tells me I can make a Z-Ring with this. Don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag. Pew. I love that. The written text for Pokemon Cries never actually lines up, like, with what you actually hear. 
I wonder why he's gonna be a secret and <laughs> why does she carry it in that bag and not, you know, the spheres of which uh, can hold Pokemon in a very discreet way that no one would question? The spheres that actually uh, the design of the end of your bag has? Why, why is she stuffing Cosmog into a bag? <laughs> Are there air holes for it? Poor thing. The secrets. Nope. Just gorgeous views. I guess I'm out. Um, bye. Psst. Where's my starter? It's been like half an hour. I would like one starter, please. Looks like you missed the kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant. Oh, yeah. So you've already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes. You can call me Lily. Okay, so her name isn't a secret. She was just <laughs> being weird earlier. He just moved here to Alola. Take good care of him. So you're also one of the professor's acquaintances? It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all of Lolia. In all of Hawaii Town. Here comes the head honcho. I've already seen a cutscene where he throws all the Pokemon out, so hopefully we see that now soon. Where'd you go off to, Kahuna? Thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there's a problem on the island, it's my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Coco flying about. You did? That was, that was me. That was my Coco. Nebby was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this boy helped to get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall into the bottom of the ravine. And then... And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Woo! That's something you don't hear every day. He says a lot of woos, too. Woo and yeah. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko was a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I should entrust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Young Kukui has told me of your coming. And I'm glad we got a chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. Yes, please. Let's have a look. I like the starters of this generation. I think they're all pretty good, honestly. Everybody always has their thoughts. I, I, I actually do like all three to some capacity. First is the Grass-type Pokemon, Rowlet. 360. Next is the Fire-type Pokemon, Litten. And last is the Water-type Pokemon, Poplio. <laughs> Bork? Question mark? Not sure of itself. Bork? They have different personalities. If you guys have seen my Twitter or just heard me talk about it, you should know. I am going fire type Litten. Love cats. Love the name. Litten fits right into my last name. Witten Keller becomes Litten Keller. Uh, and on top of that, I actually really love the third and final form for it. Uh, the idea of becoming a giant fiery monster. But um, not fire fighting. Fire dark. The heel Pokemon. Full WWE. Um, it's just it's just perfection. I love it. Both the other Pokemon are very good. And I will probably be playing through this game either recreationally or um, on another form of playthrough. And I'll try the other starters out as well. But Litten just, just feels like the one, you know? Let us see if little Litten there also decides to choose you. So I don't, I don't just I don't just get the Pokemon. We gotta we gotta pass a trial. Just staring at you with 
some curiosity. He's just shaking his head. No, no. I, I need a yes. There's a yes! <laughs> From Kukui. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> that was a really cute cutaway. There it is. What a funny thing. Like, normally you get this text when you evolve a Pokemon. Or, you know, Litten grew to level 9. Here it's just, you lifted Litten gently in your arms. I'm lifting Litten. And someday, my little cat will get big and swole. And then it will be lifting me. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. I will give my Litten a nickname. Female! Oh, ma'am! So I had two names ready to go. If it was a male, uh, I was going to call it Ric Flair. Like, F-L-A-R-E. Going deep in on the, uh, the WWE heel Pokemon theme. Ric Flair, one of the most famous heels um, of all time. And also Flair, like fire. I don't have quite... The heavy double pun, um, if we are going the female route, but I feel just as appropriate. We're going Pele after the goddess of fire. Um, she is a huge Hawaiian legend. And on top of that, Pele isn't always seen as like a universally good goddess. She's a trickster. Uh, she she gets into trouble. She uh, she gets jealous. She gets angry at, at uh, other deities and other people. And so I feel like that will resemble the dark type. That this Pokemon gets later. I'm I'm happy with either name. But that's how I was going either way. Add it to your party. Open up that slot. Let's go. Nice to meet you, Litten. You. I still want a Cosmog. They are so cute. I um, uh, it's tough. I didn't like like some people. They saw the Pokemon and they pre-built a team based on what they saw. I had a hard time doing that because I don't know when Pokemon appear at different points in the journey. But I do want a Cosmog. They are so cute. Here's a lovely gift. It's just like very... This is not just a gift. This is a lovely gift. Make it special, cousin. Pokedex! Is that the... No Rotom yet, Dex? Yes, Rotom Dex? Why don't you go introduce your new friend to your mom? Well, why don't I? Huh. I wonder if I get the Rotom later. But in the meantime, while grooming itself, it builds up fur inside its stomach. It sets the fur alight and spews fiery attacks, which change based on how it coughs. I can dig it. I'm going to be on the lookout for more weird and creepy Pokedex entries for a future video. That's one of the most exciting things for me whenever a new Pokemon generation drops since I've been doing those videos. So I'm going to keep an eye out. I guess we'll head back to mom and then call it a day for this first episode. I know uh, all Pokemon games is sort of a lot of exposition. This was more than usual, I would say, before you actually get your first Pokemon. But now that I've got it, I'm pumped. You and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. All right. It sounds good to me. Where's the fire, boy? Oh, it's it's with the lid. I got, I got the fire. And what kind of a Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a first name first, eh? Just, uh, yeah, it's just like a random off the street. Yeah, let's battle now. Fair enough. I'm Hal. And my partner's Rowlet. Well, um, Litten looks really cool, too. You like Pokemon? I'm just gonna say... I wish I could say thanks without the question mark. It seemed like he was being genuine. I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt. But I'll watch for you. Okay, well, hopefully no one gets hurt here. Except except his Rowlet, which is going to get hurt. Gonna get cooked! I do find it interesting. Uh, R.I.P. tough rival that has your weakness. Although, I think I know why they do it. And I'm going to confirm it here in just a second. This is a fun theme. I'm ready.
Another thing I wanted to warn you guys of, I just thought about it. I have heard rumors that sometimes there are frame rate drops and they might be worse on the old 3DS units versus the new ones. I only have an old 3DS unit capture card. I've been using the same capture card since like 2011. So um, I just wanted to say sorry if the frame rate ever drops. So far it looks okay to me, but might as well cover that base. This is why. Um, I love the new like info screen and stuff that they have. I know they show uh, your various like status effects and stuff as well. Um, I think they wanted to give your Pokemon a typed attack to start the game. And if your rival has a typed attack against yours, you're just going to get destroyed. I think that's why you don't have the Gary Oak rival that automatically gets your weakness for the very first fight in the game. But since I do have it, y'all getting cooked. It's super effective. It's still really bad, actually. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, that's not very effective. However, if that were a Poplio that just used its elemental attack, it would do more than half my health. Well, two A button presses. And that's our first battle. And, as usual, our first level up. I feel like you would have to be a special kind of bad to lose your first fight in this new world. I remember back when it wasn't very guaranteed. But we'll take it. We'll take the money, too. Introduce us to the world of Pokemon gambling. Hooey! That gave me chicken skin. I'm not not familiar with that uh, that phrase. <laughs> Your Linton was awesome. Well, that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Is chicken skin like goosebumps? I I'm gonna assume. Ooh, Jay Wits, would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Could it be? Tudu, is that? Is Tudu his name? Or does Tudu mean something else? I'm actually not 100% sure. You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard? That's when I got that stone. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Jaywitz, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today, though, Chaywitz. Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah? You too. So do they know about Cosmog? I'll keep an eye on... Well... <laughs> See, this is why you use the Pokeball. <laughs> why would you try to escape the very moment you were told not to wander off? So, I guess it's not a secret to them, to the village. But somebody can't see it. I'm home, Mom. <laughs> cat versus cat. What kind of Pokemon did you get? I got a four-legged cat. To compete with your two-legged cat. Not legged, but you know what I mean. I think I'm falling in love. Why did you choose this, sweetheart? Is this cute or because it's cool? It will be cool someday. But for now, it's it's a cutie. Let's not pretend. Well, then you picked right because I have a text prompt that responds the same way no matter what you pick. Pretty common for Pokemon. I think it's funny that they even give you choices. Huh? <laughs> they sound even a little similar. That's funny. That's a cute take on that little tone. The next day. I think this is going to be our first stopping point. Seems right to me. Right after our sun salutation. What a stunning sunset. Today's the day I can finally unpack. So it's nighttime now? Is that the doorbell? Go see who it is. All right. I'm going to keep it a mystery if I can save. All right. We're going to find out who's at the door tomorrow. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's first episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sun. We've got a huge adventure ahead of us. 
I cannot wait to fill out that whole team graphic that we've got here on the layout. We've worked with so many awesome people. Uh, and if you want to see all the people we've collaborated with to make things like our music, our layout, our opening um, pre-video intro thing, the editing. Uh, I've tried to leave a link for just about everybody that I can down in the description and it'll be there every episode that we do. And I really should leave in there as well. A thank you to you guys for being so supportive of this. I wasn't sure if I would ever go back to Let's Playing, but so many of you have requested this and have said that you've had a good time with past playthroughs that we've done. So I thought, you know, let's give it another stab. I actually feel like it will be a lot of fun to try out this time. Now, I'm not 100% sure how many times I will record. This is, I, I'm in the past. When you watch this, uh, I'm working with the review copy. And it's a good thing that I am in the in the past because I'm so busy these days. Um, being able to have a little bit of a head start to make some of these episodes in advance would be good. Typically, I'll spend around half an hour an episode, maybe sometimes shorter, sometimes longer if it's opening exposition like this one. But um, I'm thinking I'll probably do a couple of episodes in a row tonight just because the game just came out and I'm so excited. But otherwise, I'll probably be recording around one a day until the game comes out. So officially, and that's when you'll start seeing these videos. That's all I've got this time. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Pokemon Sun.